It's dark outside, so I can't make a video in natural lighting, which isn't good. Personally, I blame Google Plus for this. Everything that's bad with the world... No, that's too far. Google is not the cause of every bad thing. <coughs> Okay, so this video, as you can tell by the, you know, the, the title of the video, is it still called the title? Or have to call it something else? But yeah, this video is not going to be, you know, in any way original, because I don't make original videos, that's just something I'm not very good at. But it's about my opinion, and I've been wanting to spread it with about two people that watch my videos for a long time now. Okay, so let's make a start, eh? Apparently, Google Plus is the second largest social network in the world, behind Facebook, which I don't know about you, but I find that incredibly hard to believe. Now, Google, I like, I, I really do, and I think many people do, because it's really useful. I think everybody visits Google at least once every day to, you know, either search something with the web aspect, image something, the maps, the translate, all of that is good stuff, all of that is incredibly useful. But from what I can get, the social networking site of Google, Google Plus, is all about circles. Um, that's, that's basically all I've got from it up to now. I haven't really been on it very much because I don't like it. Treated that in the same way that I treat MySpace or Tumblr. I don't use them sites, but I don't hate their existence. They obviously have their purposes, they care for many people. Um, and their existence doesn't annoy me very much. I just don't use them. Until it decided to merge with YouTube, a site that I use every day and have done for a very long time now, and a site that I like very much. Now, I know that Google has owned YouTube since 2006 when it bought it over, but it hasn't really been affecting it very much or making many changes at all since very recently. I can deal with, and I've got to grips with, eventually, the whole having to have a Gmail account linked up with the YouTube like that's not a problem for me anymore you know it's just another email platform that you have to click on not a massive problem is it but now changes have been very sudden and immediate to a site that had been of immense popularity for millions of people for a lot of years people liked the video format the comments the way they were the like button the way it was everything was dandy everything was going well but they've gone and changed all of that in what they like to call beneficial requirements. And these changes are great, apparently, according to them. They're not, okay? And <clears throat> and I just think that they need to realise the mass amount of people that use the site for what it, well, now was. I haven't actually found a single person that has argued that these changes have been good. Let's just have a quick run through of the things that they've changed. Email requirements, comments, which is causing mass uproar lately. Um, it's a very topical subject in, ironically, the comments. Because what they've done is they've made the comments posts to your Google Plus persona and changed the whole format of the comments to something very similar to what Facebook has got going on with the comments. Not in order of how they've been commented in date, time, sequence, just generally jumbled, hard to reply to, apparently. I don't get enough comments to have like little replies on them, but you get the gist. I don't comment on many videos, probably should, and I don't get a mass amount of comments on my own videos, so is, the, is, the, is, the, is this argument applicable to me? I don't know, I just don't like it very much. As a self-confessed scroller through the comments, I can understand people's dislike. Let's just put it that way. People take the mick out of Google Plus. In the words of Emma Blackery, if it was gonna work, it would have worked by now. So true, so true. I have a funny feeling they're gonna change the like button to a plus one button, which is really gonna be the tipping point for me, I think. I'd probably leave the site, as would many people. It's just, it's just too much now. I think it's, I think it's gone a bit too far. And if Google see this, which the chances of that are very slim, um, because of the subscriptions changes and obviously subscribe to me but um, subscriptions don't work do they really? No but all jokes aside, they're not going to watch this video. Not, it's not depressing because they wouldn't change anything anyway. It's their site and we have got to understand that and obey by whatever they shout at us and whatever they change and whatever they do and like to do. Which is change things that don't need to be changed, apparently. Everyone's got something that they like to do, don't they? People at Google, obviously, like to ruin things. I think that was probably a bit too harsh. I take that back. Or should I take that back? 
I'll leave that with you guys. That's just my opinion and I'm sure there's lots of people out there that think Google Plus is amazing and has been an incredible intervention to YouTube. But I'd like to know your thoughts. Um, comment below. Actually, no it's not comments anymore is it? Post, uh, post your thoughts to your, your Google Plus circles. Um, doesn't really have a ring to it does it? It's not as catchy as comment below. Give this video a plus one if you enjoyed it. I'd love to get a discussion going on down below. Reply to each other's comments. Never gonna happen Jack, never. Goodbye. Goodbye guys. Let, let's zoom in on my face. I've never done this before. Goodbye guys. Yeah, um, one thing I did forget to mention in that video is that there is a change.org petition against it which up to now has 180,000 signatures um, and basically it's a petition to change the YouTube comments back to the original form. Uh, there's 19,000 needed, I'm sure I'm sure you can, you can sus, sus something out and spread it for me. I've signed it. I think I've signed it about three times. I don't know what effect it'll have if they actually get 200,000 supporters, but if, if it does mean that the YouTube comments will be back to the original form, then I think it's worth it. Um, I'll put the link in the description, unless the description is now not called description, then I'll put it in whatever it is down below the video. <laughs> Sorry it was so long, and probably boring, but if you got this far, then sign that petition. Oh my god.